hey loves welcome back to the channel today in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make and also attach these structured details to your dress so if you're interested keep on watching and let's get started so guys to make these structured details i'm going to be making use of these materials i have my fabric here which is what i'm going to be using this is about half yard of doll face fabric and then i have my bone this is a regilin bone this is the type that you can actually stitch on so that's what i'm going to be using and as you can see i have two different sizes so i have one that is small which is this one i'm holding right now and then the other one is a little bit bigger in size so right now i'm going to be using my fabric to cut out pieces that we're going to be using to cover the bone so first thing i'll go ahead and do is take the measurement of my bone so this smaller one actually after i was done taking the measurement i realized that it is quarter of an inch and then this bigger one here was half of an inch so quarter of an inch and half of an inch so basically i'm going to be ensure that the fabric i'm going to cut out to cover these bones are going to be right enough to cover it so now for the smaller bone i've cut out these pieces here so i made sure that it is one inch wide so the width of all the pieces is one inch so when you have this smallest bone ensure that the width you're going to be using to cover it is one inch now for the length this is totally dependent on how long you want your pieces to be so the different pieces the first piece is 12 inch the other one is 15 and the one following it was 18 and lastly i had 22 inches so basically what i'm going to go ahead and do now is i'm going to be stitching down the side one side of this piece that i cut out using ensuring that I, there is enough space for my bone to pass through so i'll just head over to the sewing machine and make a tiny stitch on one side of these pieces so after i was done making that tiny stitch this is what i had remember that these pieces are one inch wide so i used quarter of an inch to stitch it down so that the remaining inch that is left will be enough for my boning to pass through so right now i'm just using my safety pin to turn this over to the right side just place your um, safety pin on one side and pass it through the inside of the casing so it's going to be a little bit hard because the casing is actually very small but just take your time and pass it through by the time you're done the safety pin is going to come out from the other side and then you just pull every other thing out just like i'm doing like this and then you will see that it's looking nice and clean so i'm going to do the same thing for all the other pieces here and i'll be right back so guys this is what it looks like after i was done turning all the pieces out to the right side and i went ahead to iron it out as well so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the measurement i have on each piece so for this particular one i had 12 inches so i'm going to be cutting out my bony with 11 inches so you just remove one inch for whatever you measured on your actual fabric this is because you need space at the ends of both sides of this um bone of this piece for you to be able to hand stitch it so this is what i mean so you can see i just passed it through and there's some space at the end for me to be able to make my hand stitches so i'm just going to continue with the same process for all the other pieces just remove one inch from whatever you have on your fabric and use it to cut out your bone and then pass your bone through the casing passing the bone through the casing is not as easy as it's looking right now on the camera you need to be very patient with it and take it very slowly so i'm going to go ahead and do this for all the other pieces so guys you can see that all my pieces have decided to maintain their circle position that they are in right now so this is something that can easily be um done so i'm going to head over to the ironing board and straighten it up all the pieces and iron them out so guys after i was done ironing it out it's not like it's going to be standing straight now but you can see that i can now easily get the shape i want my bones to be so as you can see i'm just arranging them according to their uh, length from the smallest down to the longest in length so as you can see this is what i just did here so after arranging it in place i just went ahead to use my needle and thread and i started from the first two pieces 
So I'm stitching the first two pieces together with my hand needle and thread. So after I was done stitching those first two, I added the third piece. Now when you are stitching this down, it's going to be very hard at this point because the fabrics are now becoming thicker as you add more bone to it. So you continue like this to the last one which is what i'm on right now go ahead and continue to stitch it in place with your hand needle and thread make sure that you are taking it easy it's not going to be very easy the needles are not going to be passing through just like it is on this video because this particular video is actually speeded up a little bit so just take your time and stitch it together and you see how nicely it will come out so guys this is what i had after i was done stitching down this particular piece it's looking very nice and i am so loving how this is right now so for the bigger piece i went ahead to do everything i've done on this particular piece here i went ahead to cut out the bigger pieces but for the bigger pieces the width was two inches wide not one inch for the bigger pieces so i used two inches and i went ahead to fold it just like i did on the other piece so for this particular set of bones i decided to use stones to just decorate the casing which is what i'm doing right now so i just went ahead to decorate this i'm going to go ahead and do it all around these pieces and iron it out so i went ahead to use my iron to secure the stones to the um, bone to the casings and as you can see just like i did on the other first pieces that we worked on i'm just passing the bone through the casing whether you add stones or not is going to actually still be easy to pass through it's just the same way we did the other side it's just that you'll be a little bit careful so that your stones are not pulling out as you're passing this through so i'll go ahead and iron these pieces out as well just like i did for the other piece so that it will be easy for us to work with so this is what i've done here so now i'll go ahead and arrange them again like i did for the other side and stitch them down so after i was done stitching it down just like i did for the other pieces this is what it looks like and i'm very excited for this this is looking so nice so now i went ahead to start placing to just arrange these bones on the dress i want to put them on so i first of all put them on my mannequin so after arranging them on my mannequin i brought it down and started hand stitching it so again when you are doing this you have to take your time you have to be patient with it because you are working with a bunch of fabric in one place and it's going to be very hard for your needles to easily pass through so as you can see after i was done stitching it down i cut out a tiny piece of my flowery design that i used to design the neckline of this dress before and i just used it to cover the raw edges of my boning just so it's looking nice and clean for, so for this part you can actually decide to use stones or whatever design you have you must cover that place up or else it will be looking very rough so after i was done covering it up this is what it looks like so last thing i did was to just stitch the top area of these bones to the neckline so i just teach it to the neckline here as you see me doing like this just to hold it in place and prevent it from moving when i'm wearing it so i did the same thing for the other side as well which is what i'm doing right now and i just secured it in place and finally this is what it looks like after i was done stitching everything in place so i hope that you find this video helpful thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you guys in my next tutorial bye